In this year's semester, my college professor gave a student a school activity that involves PCB making. I've been trying to make a PCB for the past few days or weeks. I already contacted a lot of trials and error. And I cannot say I'm already an expert in PCB making, but I will show you how I make my PCB in this video. The first step is preparing the printed PCB layout by cutting the layout into the size that we wanted. I use the baby oil method. This method helps to make the paper transparent. After putting the baby oil in the PCB layout, dry the layout with a cloth or anything that will reduce the oil in the paper. The PCB that I use is called the presensitized PCB. The cutting process is important. The tape is optional. I use tape just to hold the PCB in a place without me getting worried about it moving. I use the cutter to cut off the PCB but I use the blunt side of the cutter to score it and not the sharp part. I score both sides 50 times to make the cut clean of the PCB. After the cutting process, this is the result. After cutting the PCB, it is time to prepare everything I need for the UV light procedure. The UV light that I use is a nail UV LED light, which is essentially used by girls for their nails, but I use it for this process. I use a glass to hold the PCB and printed layout. I accidentally sit on this glass, that is why it looks like this and it is broken. Carefully remove the white sticker of the presensitized PCB. You should do this in a dim place because the PCB is very sensitive once the white sticker is been removed. Now you need to put the printed layout on the top of the PCB while it is facing down. And you need to put a glass on the top because this will help to put more connection on the paper and PCB. Now after that, you just need to put the UV light on the top of this tree or in the top of the glass for around 10 minutes. After 7 minutes of the UV light process, I put my PCB on the top of my desk. The reason for this is because I want to expose the PCB more on the light using my fluorescent lamp. A quick fact, you can actually use fluorescent lamp as the light process but I haven't really have a successful um, achievement on the fluorescent lamp process but maybe you will have. That's why this is the process I'm using by using UV light and also fluorescent lamp at the same time. While I was waiting, I don't really want to waste some time, so I already prepared the developer solution. 
In the developer solution, I put 1,000 milliliters of water in a container and a small cup amount of sodium hydroxide. Be sure to wear a gloves because sodium hydroxide can slowly burn your skin. After dissolve, I do the 50-50 method, I get a cup size of solution in a container and a cup size of water also in the container, mixing it like I said 50-50 method. Ferrochloride is used for etching the copper. I already used this ferrochloride which is why it is more darker than it's supposed to be. After 10 minutes, I noticed that the PCB doesn't have a lot of progress. That's why I decided to replace the ferrochloride with a new one. You need to shake the PCB in the ferrochloride for about 10 minutes but shake it longer if there still some copper left just make sure to make the PCB clean to have more a attractive look after etching the copper and PCB you can now clean the PCB with water The final step is actually very simple, you just need to prepare the PCB by doing drilling the holes in the PCB and of course soldering all the electrons component to finish the product off.
this is the final product. Um, I don't really think it, it's uh, good or satisfying. But yeah, that's actually how I made my PCB. That's all, and bye!